how does one remain focused and motivated in their life as often as possible? Hey guys, my name is Annabelle and welcome to another video here. I wanted to talk today about motivation and focus. I get a lot of questions as to how I accomplish so much, how I um, continue to pursue these different avenues that I'm interested in and, you know, continue to actually take action on um, what it is that I want. In this video, I wanted to share five things that I came up with that help me stay focused and motivated throughout daily life. The first thing that I try to do and is always so beneficial when I do do it is I create a list at night. So often what people do is that they'll create their to-do list in the morning and I find that extremely um, taxing on my mental energy in terms of right in the morning when you're ready to do something you have to sit down and think about what it is that you want to do that day and so if you know at the end of your day you can kind of look at what it is that you were able to accomplish that day and create a list of two or three things that would make tomorrow feel super successful and um, you know that you that you accomplish something I guess so I'll I'll write down two or three things and in the morning that'll be one of the first things I look at so that um, I have a super clear vision as to what it is that I want to accomplish and you know, often life gets in the way but um, having that written out still helps regardless of if you know you execute everything on on the list or not just because it's the intention right and so likely if you have that intention any time that you can find you will use more productively toward those specific things that you have written down on your list to complement that um, is having a morning routine or ritual. I know nowadays it's talked about a lot and so it's not any surprise I don't think to any of you guys the importance of having some type of yeah routine that helps you kind of drop into a more productive more grounded space. Um, there's a few books that have come out about you know the importance of having a morning morning what's the book called morning the morning miracle I think is one book that I've read about it and there's some other ones like millionaire morning by uh, Lewis Howe and and a few others but it just basically shares that ultimately the most successful people have some type of a morning ritual. Whether that be meditating for, you know, 20 minutes or whether it be, you know, exercising for a while or a combination of um, writing and reading, which is more of what I tend to do. I tend to um, wake up in the morning and if, if time allows in my life, um, lines up in the, in the right way. Um, I tend to, you know, write in bed for at least, you know, 30 minutes. I, I really like to write a lot longer, but I don't often have the time. But it's just having that routine of waking up and the first thing you're not doing is the, the first thing that you will not do is look at your phone. Um, I will talk about that in a second, but having that first wake up being, you know, I'm going to go relax, I'm just going to write out some thoughts, some ideas, um, whatever I've been going through I may write down, and then I'll read for 
a little while just because I feel like reading is really important and I tend to like to read in the morning. I'm not really someone who likes to read at night. So that's the second suggestion I would, I would have. The third is limiting your distractions. So um, looking at your phone first thing in the morning, huge, no, no, don't do that. There are ways in which you can have that do not disturb um, option, at least on an iPhone, where you can select it and then only certain people that you allow to get through that block um, will be able to get through. So maybe, you know, family members you may want or, um, you know, a specific friend you may want to have, um, you may want to be able to receive those notifications as they come. With that being said, I have basically all my notifications turned off. Um, you know, Facebook, Facebook Messenger, Instagram, um, I don't know what else. You know, any like finance, business related stuff, YouTube, emails, everything is turned off except for my um, messaging and my phone. So unless I put that do not disturb on, I will get my text messages and my phone, ca phone calls. Um, it's extremely important that you limit the accessibility of maybe some of those apps that may draw you in and keep you there for a while. Um, specifically, my experience was through YouTube and, um, you know, I'd, I'd search a topic or a, a video that I was interested in would come up and then, you know, YouTube is really good at their algorithms and they keep putting more videos like it or different um, from that video and it just keeps you in this cycle. And so I think it's really important to first of all acknowledge what those distractions are in terms of your technology um, and then making a conscious effort to, to like put aside 20 minutes to say look at Facebook and that's the only amount of time that you will look at Facebook for the day. I also would suggest you guys checking out an app called Moment which tracks how much you use your phone, how many times you pick it up and then through integrating it with your um, settings app, this is all on the iPhone, I'm assuming that it's similar on a Android device. Um, but basically it just lets you know what apps you use the most um, and you know how much time you're actually using on your phone. And so it's definitely helped me use my phone significantly less. Um, you know you'll kind of establish a baseline of okay this is a typical day and this is how much I would um, how much I would use. Um, it's been a little bit difficult for me because I I use it for business related things more than anything and so when I'm seeing that um, the hours accumulate on my phone you gotta think that are you you're on your phone, but would you ultimately, if you weren't using your phone, be on your computer? And so that's also something to think about. Um, but still, at the same time, I think using a computer is better than a phone because I feel there's less distraction. Um, with a computer, I tend to sit down, and when I sit down at the computer, I tend to be super productive, opposed to, you know, having that phone in your hand and, um, you know, finishing your task and then closing and then feeling like, oh, maybe I'll look at this app. So just being really aware of where your time is actually going. Another suggestion I have is the fourth, I believe, of what I do is I've, I've created a mental trigger. Um, <clears throat> what I mean by this is that this tiny house 
has provided me with um, this feeling of I can do anything. And so whenever I'm trying to accomplish a project or feeling like, oh, you know, maybe I won't do that, I just don't feel up for it, or I don't think I'll create something successful, I just think, you know, I built a house. I can, I can do anything. So I'd invite you to find that successful project or presentation or creation that you can think of in your life and consciously use that as a trigger to keep you feeling motivated. I know personally this may be um, a a seem like a very big trigger and that maybe in your life you may not feel you've um, you know created something this um, this big I guess I don't have another word to to describe it but it's not about um, you know what the success is it's about having that trigger and whatever the success may be just build it in your mind as this thing that when you think about it, it's like, yes, I can go do that. Yes, I can, um, you know, go on that long trip that, you know, I'm, I may be fearful of, or um, yes, I can put myself out there in this way because I've already done it and there's really nothing to worry about. So the last thing that I want to say is the fifth um, little piece of advice is kind of relates to the distractions, but um, goes a little bit deeper. And so I would call it, I guess, conscious consumption. It's extremely important to realize the effect of the people you follow, the, the media that surrounds you on a daily basis, how that's affecting your mood, um, your emotional state, your physical state. And so, while I haven't um, necessarily mastered this in any way, it's been an intention for a while to be um, much more aware of, you know, who I follow on different social medias and um, who I'm subscribed to on YouTube, because that tends to be really the main place that I... Um, invest a lot of my time and so just being you know always working toward you know not necessarily a minimalistic um, I guess maybe it's minimalistic just you know limiting the people you follow and the lives that you are invested in so that you aren't always consuming so much um, maybe unnecessary worries, um, negative energies. You know, there's a lot of people out there who um, take your energy from you. And so just being aware and conscious of that and being able to recognize when you may feel super negatively invested in something and just, you know, eliminating that from your life. Similarly, you know, with, with people, it's really important that the relationships that you have, that you invest in, are adding to your life. And there's, you know, a two-way street. And that it's not just you going somewhere and, um, you know, feeling like, this person really needs me to be here or it's just a mindset it's just being able to recognize within yourself what adds to your life and so while I chose to kind of look at it maybe more negatively looking at it more positively it's just about you know surrounding yourself with people and topics that inspire you and keep you feeling motivated. Um, and so I encourage you to incorporate that throughout all your um, social media and throughout your personal life 
as well and I think you'll you'll find that you're you'll be feeling much more motivated in general just you know really surrounding yourself with motivation with people that inspire you to keep you know doing your thing so that's all I have for this video I hope you're having an amazing day and I will see you super soon Life is wonderful. Love